The real reason why narcissists ghost you. Narcissists do not like to be wrong. They see themselves as grandiose. They think they're better than you. And while that may not be true, they expect you to support the illusion. They expect you to feed into their narrative by either adoring them or fearing them. They don't really care about respect. Which is how they're able to say and do so many things that make them unworthy of respect. They just want to dominate you. They want to have a commanding position over you. They want to be the most important and conspicuous thing in your life. Which is how they're always trying to attract your attention. But they expect you to see yourself as being less important than they are. They expect you to be their subordinate, where you can then accommodate them and cater to their needs. But at some point, they will give you the silent treatment. They will start ghosting you. And you will wonder why they're no longer talking to you. You will feel abandoned. But you will begin to question yourself. You will question if you did something wrong. And then you may try to correct it. Because now you don't feel safe. You feel very anxious. But those are the exact feelings that they want to induce in you. They want to keep you off balance. They want to keep you on edge. They want you to be worrying about what they think about you. When the narcissist ghosts you, they do it to dominate you. They do it to gain power and control over you. But they will play the victim. They will act as though you have done something to them. But that's just a mask for what they're really trying to do. When the narcissist first met you, they may have said that you were perfect. They may have said that you were the greatest person they've ever met. But as time goes by, they stop texting you. They don't call you anymore because they may have felt slighted by something you said or did. Narcissists are very sensitive people. Maybe you didn't say something the way they wanted you to say it. But if you question them on this, they will accuse you of being sensitive or paranoid. They will gaslight you. Because when they ghost you, they just want to keep you off balance. Where you're constantly wondering about what they think. They're playing a game. And they want you to respond to their ghosting. They want you to try to make things right. Because it feeds their ego. 
it makes them feel important. They put you on a pedestal just so you're further away from the ground when they want you to fall and then they ghost you when they're grooming their new supply but if you try to get in contact with them again they will insult you they will devalue you which leaves you feeling very confused But they know that at this point, you're in a vulnerable state, which is why they're so free from restraint, which is why they're so out of control. They will say whatever they think will hurt you the most. They will punish you because it gives them supply. But at the time, you may not realize what they're doing to you because you're just looking for a logical answer to why they ghosted you. But this is a problem that cannot be solved because you're not dealing with a rational person. So there's no logical reason They ghosted you to cause you to experience instability, to cause you to experience unpredictable behavior and erratic changes of mood, to see what you're willing to tolerate, to make you insecure. Because if they can make you insecure, they can mold you into whatever they want you to be. They can mold you into whatever works for them. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.